Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair and today we're going to be checking out a 2007 Gibson SG Standard in Ebony. Let's check it out. Alright, picked this one up locally for a pretty decent price. And I'm, I'm looking for the right SG, I just still haven't really found it yet. I can't get along with the neck a lot of the times, neck dive I don't really like. So I'm trying to find one that doesn't neck dive, that has a neck that I like, and pickups that I like too. And uh, it's kind of proving to be a tall order. But maybe this is it. Alright, let's have a look. So this is a Ebony 2008. SG standard and uh, yeah this one's definitely players grade there's some dings and doinks and scratches and it's missing a truss cover but uh, nothing egregious it's not too bad um, so yeah let's get it on the bench and take a closer look so yeah some scratches and dings like I mentioned I think that's one of the worst ones right there and uh, our knobs are missing the reflectors I think I have some extras in my parts and this model has the 490R498T pickup set which I'm not typically crazy about I have definitely played ones that I've really liked and others that I've uh, not been crazy about uh, they seem to fluctuate a lot in terms of sound quality uh, depending on the year and whatever other factors there are but I've played some sets that I really enjoy and others that uh, are kind of lackluster so I guess we'll have to see what this one is um, Rosewood fingerboard is very dry it's definitely going to need some hydration and uh, I have to check my parts to see if I have an extra truss rod cover kicking around and um, yeah this one's aged there's a little bit of lacquer coming off of the O here on the Gibson logo and a quick look at the back so yeah there's some buckle worming and some scrapes and dings and I'm gonna clean this up and see how well I can get it to look here and maybe just do drop fills and some of the larger dings and uh, <clears throat> another thing I like is this has got a 50s rounded neck on here so um, I find with the thinner SG necks like the 60s slim taper style necks that uh, when I'm cording hard or um, I'm being hard on the neck, I'm actually pushing the guitar out of tune because the guitar is so light, like SGs are so light and the neck is so thin that uh, I'm having trouble playing it in tune because I'm putting too much pressure on it. So I think I either need a lighter touch or a thicker neck. So I'm excited to try out this 50s uh, rounded neck on this SG because I haven't tried one out with a 50s neck in a while. And there's a look at our serial number, which uh, dates it to 2008, and then it says made in the USA 2008 as well. So nice and light at 6 pounds, 6.8 ounces. So our bridge is reading a 13.65, and our neck is a 7.59, and in the middle, a 4.88. Width of the nut is a 1.7 and at the 12th fret a 2.09 neck depth at the first fret is a 0.856 and at the 12th a 0.99 And here's a look at our bridge. It's in good shape. It hasn't collapsed at all. Still got the radius on there. And uh, it's branded PW with a 1 on there. And here's a look at our tailpiece. Seems to be full weight. And um, just a look at our, our ABR 1 style bridge posts here. So there's actually two little. Uh, washers underneath here, so I'm not sure those definitely aren't stock. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and take those off. But maybe uh, they were put there as like um, a guide of where to lower it. So you can always only lower it to that one certain spot. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and remove those. There's one under the bridge post as well. All right, so here's a look at our cavities here. Um, this is our pickup cavities. You can see we have a long neck tenon, and our routes look nice. Um, there's some red residue left over, so that's like uh, from uh, the red buffing compound that was used in this era. And here is a look at our pickups. So that's a 490R, 490AT neck and bridge with the wire braided pickup. Uh, oh my, um, this is kind of a first for me, but if you can see right in the corner of the, the cavity there for the pickup, it's full of some sort of bugs. So that's really gross, and I'm not quite sure how that would have happened. Everything, all the cavities were closed and everything like that, but uh, yeah, it looks like spiders or ants or something. So um, I'm going to have to clean that out. But I'm not looking forward to it. So yeah, it looks like they are ants, and there's a bunch of them in there. Uh, so I guess we got to check the back cavity as well. But uh, yeah, gross. All right, I wanted to open this on camera in case this thing is just teeming with bugs or something. So here's the back cavity, and I'm I'm pretty squeamish when it comes to bugs. I don't like them at all. Uh, so let's see. Ugh. Okay, it's being really. And what do we got? Okay, well, there's definitely more in there, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. There's definitely there was more in the. Uh, in the um, cavity for the, the guitar. So here's a better look at like a single one. Um, it looks like an ant to me. I have no explanation of how that they could have got in there. Um, because someone would have to either put them in there or maybe they were trapped in the wood and they burrowed out into the cavities and then died or I have honestly no idea but it's pretty bizarre. Um, anyway, they, they're all out now. It's nice and clean, and I can't find any burrow holes or anything else like that, so <clears throat> I'm not really sure what happened there. All right, I'm just editing this video right now, and I found some more information on the internet. So apparently ants are attracted to vibrating wood. So this guitar could have been just sitting around in someone's house, and some music had been playing, and the wood would be vibrating, and a bunch of carpenter ants could have crawled in through the output jack and then just didn't find their way out. All right, here's another look at the cavity, now bug-free, and uh, everything looks stock original. And we've got uh, 08 uh, on the marker on one of the pots here, and they're using the ceramic disc capacitors, and yeah, everything looks as it should and original, and our route looks good as well. All right, let's have a look at the condition. So here's our headstock. So it's got some wear on the corners, and uh, Another thing I noticed is it looks like some of the washers have been swapped out with some different ones. So they're not all quite matching. It's a small thing, but yeah, it's definitely there. Um, got some rub here, some scratches from strings when someone was uh, changing strings, it looks like. I managed to find this nice uh, ebony truss rod cover that I had uh, in my parts drawer. So I'm just going to leave it on here. Uh, it's, it's a nice truss cover. And there's a look at our truss rod. So yeah, there are a few threads showing, but not enough really to be concerned about. There's still a lot of room for adjustment. And um, I checked with my um, notch straight edge that the neck is very straight now. So it likely won't need any more tightening. Um, there's a look at our nut, which uh, appears to be a bone nut. I just confirmed that it is, an, it is a bone nut and it appears to be original. So, um, I did hydrate the fretboard, so it's nice and dark now. And I did run through the frets through the fret buffer, so they're super shiny and smooth. 
And uh, yeah, no signs of fret wear. Everything looks good in that regard. And uh, let's just have a quick look at the <clears throat> condition. So yeah, a couple dings and scratches. I managed to clean it up pretty nicely. It's a black guitar, so it's going to show every single blemish. But uh, yeah, just a couple of scratches and dings and scuffs. But uh, nothing too bad. Pretty decent condition for the, for the year. And then I did have some extra reflector knobs here that I swapped on there. So those are looking good. The other two were missing the reflector portion. And it also looks like the uh, strap buttons have been swapped out to these longer ones. I've seen this on a couple of Gibsons. Um, and they're fine. They work just fine. And here's a look at the back. Again, just multiple impressions and dimples and a little bit of buckle warming. But not rash. Nothing through the finish. There's not too many dings or chips or anything through the finish. It's all mostly just uh, in the finish impressions and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then our neck is actually quite nice. There's not a lot of uh, marks or dings in our neck. Maybe just some very slight impressions that you can't really feel. And uh, here's a look at our headstock. We've got the Gibson Deluxe green tuners. And there's a look at our shell number. And just a few slight chips and dings on the headstock as well. But yeah, overall not too bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it restrung and set up. Alright, managed to get a nice setup on this SG. So, if we look at our notch straight edge, we can see that there's very little space between the straight edge and the fingerboard. Tells us that the truss rod is set nice and straight. And, and here at the third fret, when I use the third fret, you can see that the strings are gently resting against that first fret. So that means that our truss rod is nice and straight, but also that our nut is cut very nicely, our bone nut. So we've got good action there. And then here at the 12th fret, got about a 1.5 millimeters at the low E and just under one at the high E so nice low action all right let's check the neck for any buzzing or fretting out I like to speed up this part if you want to hear it in real time you can slow down the player to 25 percent So yeah, nice low action and no fretting out or major buzzing anywhere. It uh, plays good with because the frets are buff, so super easy to uh, bend and play. So yeah, um, plays great. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and see how it sounds. Okay, I'm plugged into the One Two King rig. That's enough of that. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through all the different pickup positions in clean and then with a little bit of dirt and see how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah, sounds quite nice, clean. I usually don't love this pickup set, but uh, I've played iterations where they sound really, really good. And this seems to be a good sounding set for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out with a little bit of dirt. Final thoughts on the 2008 SG Standard in Ebony. Um, I was surprised by this guitar. Usually I'm not a huge fan of the pickups, uh, the 490, 498T, but I have been surprised by them before. I think it just depends on the year and the age and uh, who knows, but uh, some definitely sound better than others and this is a good set. This set sounds really nice. I also really like the neck profile on this, the super chunky 50s neck. Um, feels great and there's no neck dive on this guitar it's like perfectly balanced i tried on a strap and yeah there's no neck dive at all which is surprising for an sg the weight is also right where you want it it's uh six pounds six ounces so nice and light uh super playable i've got the action nice and low and the butt and the frets are all buff so it plays great nice and low and really easy to bend and uh, yeah, as far as originality, it's all original except for a couple things. Um, I replaced two of these knobs with uh, Gibson identical ones. And uh, some of the washers on the tuning machines are not the same. Not that it really matters, but if you look very closely, there's some that don't really match. And there was some extra hardware on the bridge and stuff, but that's all gone now. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much... Original, um, I did have to switch out the truss rod cover because it didn't come with one and I had an old ebony one laying around, so that one's a bit of an upgrade as well. And uh, condition-wise, yeah, it's pretty good. It's got a couple little chunks and dings here and there. It's a well-loved guitar. It's used, not abused. Still in quite nice shape and ready to keep being played. For sure, yeah, that ant thing was pretty weird and a little gross, but uh, we managed to get rid of that, fix the problem. And uh, just when you think you've seen it all, there's another weird thing happens. So, yeah, that was kind of interesting, but uh, not the biggest deal in the world, and it's nice and clean now. So, yeah, great guitar. Plays and sounds really nice. 
And uh, this one comes with an AeroCorrect uh, SG Gibson hardshell case as well. If you're interested in this guitar, I'm going to have it up for the reverb. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. I'll have more for you really soon. Thanks a lot. Um.